Yeah, ready for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Blade, I'm not saying it's better or worse for feel, it's just personal preference. I just don't think CCM right now, compared to this and their tax and their trigger have a blade that's similar to what the Nexus and the Supreme have. So the next thing I wanna talk about and what I think is really cool is CCM is putting their like tech basically on um, on the shaft now, which I think is really cool. So it has the, the type JetSpeed FT3 Pro, Nanolite carbon layering, shaft R dimension for round geometry, blade X, X stiff, weight 375 grams at 60 inches. So the reason they do that is because these sticks are actually taller than most retail sticks. I think they're like 62 inches um, or maybe six, I don't know the exact, but with that said, there's an overlay compared to a warrior stick. So this stick weighs 385 grams uncut, but like I said, it is taller. So once you cut it down, you basically cut off 10 grams. So you get 375 grams and that would be comparable to all of the other sticks, like basically retail sticks, because CCM is doing something unique. So kudos to them for that. I like the little bit longer. I'm six foot three, so it works for me. And it gives people options, and basically it means that this is a ridiculously light stick. We'll just talk about looks really quick. I think this thing looks really, really good. So this little thing here is a sticker. Um, so it's just talking about the hybrid kick point. I think it's a good idea just to show off what the stick is when you, so when you're looking at a shelf really easy. If they do this to triggers, green, super simple, knows what it is. Yeah, you can just check the letters and stuff, but this would stand out more from a distance and then the yellow for the tax. So I'm appreciative of that, um, of that right there and that you can take it off. I love the look of this stick. Um, everything about it, I really, really like. It's like the blacked out logos now. Uh, you have the chrome CCM, which is at the bottom, which looks pretty good. It almost looks like a stainless steel type or a brush aluminum type thing. Um, and it also has that like in the jet speed right there. I think that looks really great. That reminds me of the older CCM sticks, uh, like the older, like the RBZ, stuff like that. But yes, you have your, like, I love the blacked out logos here with just the outlines. I think it looks really good. And then the red detailing everywhere. It just looks really, really clean. I think it's a big improvement over the FT2. I didn't think this was an ugly stick. Like I liked it, but this one just looks like it looks more menacing, I wanna say. Um, and I'll say FT2 is one of my favorite sticks I've used. This thing blows it out of the water and like I'm really, really impressed with it. Um, so obviously I haven't used this on the ice, so I cannot talk about durability. I can't really talk about passing and I can't really talk, like all my stick handling stuff was done in a basement on a shooting pad. So it's not really that viable. But what I am talking about here is shooting because like I said, this thing shot better than anything else I've ever used. Any accuracy on it was just ridiculous. So I can't tell if that's part of the blade with the new like curve um, or if that was the stick itself, like the shaft and how the kick is and everything. Usually when I use a more open uh, blade like this, when I try to P28, everything sailed high. This was not the case. Everything was pretty much on target. Um, I had a, like, I would, when I was shooting with this thing, I wasn't trying to pick targets. I was just shooting as hard as I could and aiming at the targets. And I would hit targets as much as, like, when I'm trying to pick targets with other sticks. So to me, that's really impressive because I didn't have to let off of a shot to try to get that accuracy. It came with, like, all the force I put into it. Um, so that's really, really impressive to me. It'll be in one of the loops of the shooting footage here where I just nailed off like five top corner shots in a row and I couldn't have shot those harder if I tried. And like that's, I'm not gonna say it's super consistent that I can do that every time because I'm not a superstar. I'm a goalie first and then I picked up player later. But like the shooting with that, the way this stick shoots is like ridiculous. I feel like it's easier to launch hard shots off with this than it is with the Trigger 4 Pro. And I love that stick and I thought it was like the easiest releasing stick and I think this one's easier. This is a hybrid kick, it's not a low kick. Like this is for everything. This is for slap shots too. Like, this thing is legitimately unreal and CCM has something to be very, very proud of. Um, I, can't say, like, I can't say anything negative of this besides it's $360 now. So CCM raised the prices on their sticks to match Bowers. Um, to me, that kind of makes sense now because this does come in the same weight as what Bauer ones do. So before like the trigger, I think it was still 400 grams. That's kind of hard to put a, if you did this $360 Canadian compared to uh, a fly light that's $360 and it was like 300 and 
70 grams or something like that, I think that's a harder sell. This one is basically on like that same area for price or for like weight and everything. So it's an easier comparison. The only thing I wish was on this stick was to, was uh, the textured grip and that's like super personal preference. So that doesn't even count. Um, CCM has a, like a gem here. Their sticks now have not nano light carbon layering, which evidently makes them much lighter. I guess that's where they cut the weight down from this stick. Um, like this thing is just awesome. I, I can't stop raving about it and I'm so impressed with it. I have nothing bad to say about it, but again, I haven't used it on the ice, so I can't comment on a bunch of that stuff. But I do have to say CCM should be very, very impressed with this product. And like I, in my opinion, CCM now leads the stick game. Um, I thought Bauer, I thought Bauer and CCM were kind of teetering on that for a while. And like the FT2 was awesome and kind of brought CCM, I thought, back like into that, like into the edge, same with the trigger uh, trigger four pro. I think the FT3 pushes it ahead. I obviously haven't used the new Geo and I haven't used the new ultrasonic sticks. Hopefully when those come out, I can kind of compare. The Geo is the more comparable to this. So hopefully I can compare those two um, when the Geo comes out. But for now, this thing is unreal. And I like, I don't, I would just say people should definitely check it out. And it's a monster. All right, so the differences in my eyes between the FT2 and the FT3 Pro. Um, so remember the FT2 is their top end stick from last generation. It was the last stick to use the non-pro nomenclature. The FT2 Pro is was a phenomenal stick and I still recommend it like a lot. Now they're going to be on clearance, so definitely check it out. To me, it's well, it's the weight. The FT3 Pro is lighter all around, so that's like the easiest thing to tell. Um, I thought the FT3 Pro kicks harder and with less effort. Um, and I think for me, it's more accurate, but I can't tell if that's the blade because these are two different blades. I love the FT2, but the FT3 kind of brings it to a new level of how this thing shoots and how light it is. It's like in the top tier of lightness now next to Bauer, uh, like the Bauer fly light type thing, um, where the FT2 was still kind of a step back. It's still, I think this was like 410 grand or something. So it's still a step back where this one is 370 or like this one's 385 for the full length, 375 for the same as like the competitors. They're like, I, they're definitely the same family. I'll give them, I'll give you that. Like they definitely feel more cons like consistent to each other. Um, it's just, this one is basically the, with all the new tech, that's, that's the best way to put it. If you're looking for a stick, the FT2 right now, like it should be on clearance or really soon, like by all means, check it out and use the link in the description. Um, but yeah, my only complaint about this line base or CCM is that they're still not doing a max height blade. Their idea was to go to the P90 uh, TM blade instead. And I'll talk about that in a separate video. I like the max height blade, but I get why they went with this one instead. So that's about it for this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully you liked it. Um, if you ever, if you are going to purchase equipment, please check out the link in the description to purehockey.com. Um, if you do make a purchase through by using that link, I do get a kickback. So it helps fund this channel so I can review this stuff and keep doing this channel and make more content. So if you do buy gear from my videos, like for example, this because of this video, or if you thought it was awesome, please reach out to CCM and let them know on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter type thing. Helps get me on their radar. So hopefully I can do full reviews on this and not just talk about like a snapshot video like this. Um, yeah, it would help me for content in the future. Thank you very much for watching this and take it easy. You're watching hockeyreviews.ca.